Bowers and the Carmel Greyhounds. Oh, Indiana. States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Breaking news out of Hollywood, actor Alec Baldwin is involved in a shooting that left a woman dead and a man injured. It happened on the set of the, his new movie, Russ, in New Mexico. The accident killed the director of photography and injured the director. Police are investigating how this happened, but Baldwin did shoot the prop gun that led to the tragic incident. We will continue to follow this story. Switching gears now, we're getting closer and closer to Halloween. I think that calls for a classic Halloween joke. Have any in mind? Yeah, actually I do. What kind of music do mummies like to listen to? I don't really know. Classical? No, rap. <laughs> oh, I should have seen that coming. Now let's head over and take a look at what your fellow classmates' favorite Halloween traditions are. Today, I'm going to be interviewing people and asking them what their favorite Halloween tradition is. Uh, I always go to any screen park with my friends. I love uh, carving out pumpkins with my family. I like to hang out with my friends and eat candy. So, for Halloween, I if I had to pick my favorite tradition, it would probably be a fairly new tradition that uh, we did just this past year. Because of the pandemic, obviously, you couldn't pass out candy to kids the same way you used to. So what my father and I did is that we got these two pieces of PVC pipe, uh, attached them together, and we just really just threw candy down it for kids. And uh, you know, just seeing their faces like, that's so cool. It really just, it really lit up their day in a way that uh, we were kind of scared that Halloween wouldn't do for the pandemic. My favorite Halloween tradition is um, uh, decorating my house. It's great to hear about all your fun traditions. Now we want to wish everyone on the screen below a happy birthday, and also to those celebrating theirs this weekend. Happy birthday, guys. Now for today's 10 second trivia. What is spyware? Please email carmeltv99 at gmail.com with the correct answer for a chance to win a candy prize. And now, the pressure is on with many of our teams moving closer to championships. Let's hear it with your CHTV Sports Update. Charlie? Hi, Greyhounds. I'm Charlie Baker with your Carmel Sports Update. This Saturday, the cross-country teams compete in the semi-state meet. Drive over to Shelbyville and cheer them on as they battle their way towards a win. Boys Varsity will run at 1030 and Girls Varsity will run at 1115. Also, the soccer semi-state doubleheader will take place this Saturday in Seymour, with the boys kicking off at 3 against Castle and the girls kicking off at 5 against Bloomington South. We want to wish all the teams competing this weekend the best of luck. Now let's take a quick look at the recent 2021 Indianapolis 8-hour race event. This past weekend, the Indianapolis Motor Speedway hosted its final major event of 2021. On Sunday, October 17th, the Indianapolis 8-Hour took place on the Brickyard's 2.5-mile road course. The race saw a record turnout for the event, with 41 teams and nearly 120 drivers from across the world on the entry list. The number 51 Ferrari led the field to the green.
After a long 8 hour race, the French based Santa Look Audi team would take the checkered flag to win the Indianapolis 8 hour. Congratulations to the drivers and crew of the number 25 Audi R8 GT3. That's all I have for today's sports update. Let's hand it back over to your host desk with Elsa and Janice. Thanks, Charlie. Today, during SSRT, Highlight will distribute the latest issue of the news magazines. To cut costs and to be more environmentally friendly, there will only be 1,500 copies, so make sure you grab yours quickly. You can find these either outside room C-147, inside the main doors of the Media Center, outside door 13, and outside the 1012 bookstore. Additionally, they'll be placed in small stacks in the counseling activities and the main offices. Now, before you start making your plans for this weekend, let's get your weather update from Summer. Good morning, Carmel High School. I'm Summer Prince here with your weather update for today, October 22nd, 2021. Today's weather calls for a high of 52 and a low of 43. There's a 40% chance of rain today as well. Looking forward into the weekend, Saturday looks sunny with a high of 61 and a low of 37. Sunday looks rainy with a high of 66 and a low of 46 with a 100% chance of rain. The Carmel Planetarium Club is having an Earth, Moon, and Sun show on Friday, October 29th at 7 p.m. This show will last around 45 minutes where you explore the relationships between the Earth, Moon, and the Sun with the help of a coyote who is an amusing character adapted from native oral traditions. That's all I have for weather today. Have a safe and fun weekend, Carmel. Now back to Janice and Elsa at the host desk. Now for today's daily announcements. Coquette's winter dance team auditions will be Monday, October 25th from 420 to 530 in the freshman cafeteria. See Coach Wolf and C123 with questions. The swing dance clubs will be meeting after school Monday outside the main cafeteria. The Dungeons and Dragons Club will meet in the main cafeteria Monday at 415. If you will be in grades 10 through 12 next year and you are interested in learning about the rich history of Africa, you should sign up for African Studies. African Studies is a one semester social studies course and is a great way for you to become more aware of African history. After school today in room E124, the Just Right Club will meet with Hannah Templer, author and illustrator of the graphic novel Cosmo Nights. We will discuss the process and planning, creating and publishing of a graphic novel and webcomic. Anyone is welcome to attend, so we hope to see you there. Again, this will be after school today in room E124. TEDx is hosting, hosting speaker auditions for their annual conference on October 29th in the Carmel Cafe. Check out at TEDx Carmel High School on Instagram to sign up and get any questions answered. Hope to see you there. Intramurals will have a two night of kickball and soccer for anyone interested on November 4th and second, right after school in the Murray Stadium. No need to form teams, just fill out code of conduct found outside E200 or online through the CHS Intramural website. Please let Mr. Culver know if you plan on attending. Signed, of, signed code of conducts are due before you can participate. Bring a group of friends to come out and enjoy some intramural sports with other CHS students. Hope to see you there. That is all we have for you. Now let's send it over to In Studio. Good morning, Greyhounds. The annual CMYC Spike Ball Tournament is today at 5.30 p.m. in the Fieldhouse. It's $10 per team, and the winners will get a gift card and get to donate to a charity of their choice. If you'd like to sign up, please go to tinyurl.com slash CMYC Spike Ball. Care to Share is here. If you'd like to give back to your community during the holiday season, talk to your SRT teacher about donating to a family in need. Especially during COVID, donating necessities to families would mean the world to them. SRTs can sign up at tinyurl.com slash care to share 21 or in the email sent by Ms. Fouts. The deadline is today at 12. Thank you. Hello. Runway for Rally participants received a letter yesterday for a meeting today in SRT. That is your pass out of class. The meeting will be during second session of SRT today in the main cafeteria. Again, please do not come until second session of SRT today. Thank you guys, can't wait to see you there. Thank you. Thanks guys, and now let's take a look at some of your pets for Pet of the Week. Don't forget, if you want to see your pet featured next time, send us a picture of your pet to carmeltv99 at gmail.com or DM us on Instagram at carmeltv. And of course, make sure to follow our Instagram at Carmel TV, our Twitter at CHTV, 
and subscribe to our YouTube channel, CHTV Carmel Television, so you don't miss our student-produced content. For CHTV, I'm Elsa Bray. And I am Janice English. Have a great week in Greyhounds.